You know, I knew I was going to make a comeback video, but I didn't know it was going to be this. Look into my eyes. My four very favorite words. Look into my eyes. From time to time, I've been known to walk up to a perfect stranger and say those words. In my case, you could be absolutely sure that if I ever use the words, look into my eyes, the person I am speaking to is about to become very, very hypnotized. You are being hypnotized to obey. You are being hypnotized to obey. You are being hypnotized to obey my every command. And I didn't know that this might possibly be the last video that I ever make on this platform because I don't want to support it anymore because of what I'm about to talk about. Over the past 48 hours, I have discovered a wormhole, as I would call it, into a softcore pedophile ring on YouTube. Here, pedophiles are trading social media contacts. They're providing links to actual child porn in YouTube comments. They're trading unlisted videos. And Guys, hey, how's it going? So, um, dude, we did it. Like, literally, right now, we did it. Uh, my post on Reddit, thanks to you guys, about the video that I made tonight regarding the uh, sexual exploitation of children on YouTube and how it's being monetized is less than an hour and a half the top post on Reddit. Did it go better than expected? Dude, uh, you know, I got to get this camera. Yeah, it is depressing, Pen, but... We are getting traction as we speak. This has only been known about for about, uh, I, I officially put the video up at uh, eight o'clock my time, which was about three hours ago. We are now the number one trending post on Reddit. Um, we're going to do something about this. I feel like if we can keep this up, let me set up my camera. This is big. This is real. I was going to go to bed, but we're going to stay up and we're going to do everything that we can right now to try and get some traction on this. So, uh, 15 of you that are here, thank you for being here. Um, just give me a second to set my camera up because this looks like shit. Get in there, you have a wrench. A wormhole, as I would call it, into a softcore pedophile ring on YouTube. Again, over the top language, and I don't like this. We all, when Mike and I did this stuff, you you should have heard the talks off of the air. How to do it correctly? How to? You can't go right into softcore pedophile ring. You're overselling something that's There's disgusting. Gentlemen, this is disgusting. This is Ken Fresno. Yeah. I'm the actor who portrays Mike Shealy on Revenge of the Sis. And uh, I'm telling you honestly, and it's my true opinion, that YouTube and its executive board are personally involved in running a child pedophile ring. <laughs> that's basically what he's doing. You're like, whoa, all right, let's... Dial it back a little bit. This is Emmanuel Rodriguez. I play Royce Lopez on the show, and I want to distance myself from my partner, <laughs> Ken only, Fresno. That would be the only rational reaction. I don't. I want to distance. I don't. Myself. I've never said that you millionaire people with good lawyers. Everybody, everybody a... knows it's the <laughs> Netflix people yes. that are one hundred percent involved. Yeah. <laughs> a South American pedophile. Uh, <laughs> but what? Like, I don't know. It, it's it, this is what I mean. It's too hyperbolic. Yeah. He keeps doing this like <sighs> Stop it, dude. Enough for you. Matt what is it? Matt Wattis? Matt what it is, I guess. All right. Here pedophiles are trading social media contacts. They're providing links to actual child porn. He looks like he actually looks like a former child actor. <laughs> like, am I wrong? He has that. <laughs> yeah. He has the look of a former child actor who grew yeah. up to just be a regular schlub. Yeah, he was. He was he, not a famous one though. He was like on the team the Sandlot played. <laughs> he was on Eight and enough, Eight is Enough. He was number <laughs> six. <laughs> In YouTube comments, they're trading unlisted videos in secret, and YouTube's algorithm, through some kind of glitch 
or error in its programming is actually facilitating their ability to do this. All right, so you're admitting yourself that it must be an algorithm or something. Yeah. Then at the same time, you're saying, I can't support this platform. It's not one way or the other. Look, YouTube does a lot of shitty things. Obviously, we'd yeah. be the first one to say it. There's a lot of questionable things on YouTube that we've covered ourselves. There's still a video of Ariana Grande and 16 years old bukkaking herself with water because Dan Schneider made her do it. Like, yeah. there's some weird shit out there, 100% on the same page. But again, you're coming in too hot. Number one, you're cu you're coming in too hot. You build a the, to do this properly. You build a case. That's what we did with Schneider, right? When you build a oh, case. Oh, we there's so much shit we didn't talk about there's until we could talk about it and stuff. And there, there's still shit that that we haven't talked about and we're never going to talk about because we can't cooperate. Not that we don't know it's true or not, but we we tried to build a case. Okay, we try. You're not building a case. You're going into it hot. Number one. Number two, well, he gets to it, but tr going after advertisers only makes it worse for the people that aren't pedophiles. And can we Stupid. All, can we also all agree that you're say you're admitting that these people who are, uh, who are exploiting these children for uh, sexual reasons, which we can say is true, these mm -hmm. weird Indian accounts that they're in, these Bangladeshi accounts, um, we, can agree, we, we can agree with you there. But now you're saying YouTube's a part of it because their algorithm's a part of it. Like, you understand that any decent content creator, even me and Royce, every one of us on this platform is guilty of algorithm manipulation. Mm -hmm. You learn the system and then you try to game that system. And it's, it's, we're not doing anything wrong by that, but we make sure you use... That's what keywords are for and tags and hashtags. You're supposed to be building, uh, 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 an, you know... SEO and getting people to come to your videos and it's if once you have a basic understanding of that yeah even people who take advantage of kids are going to manipulate that algorithm right right so let's continue with this guy this is something that a lot of people have been aware of for a long time and what makes what I've discovered worse is the fact that I can find this wormhole from a fresh never before used YouTube account via innocuous videos within about five clicks. I'm making this video with only one intention. To talk like sincere Crowder? Oh, it's annoying, isn't it? it? It's, it <laughs> I don't like this guy because it's like... Like, I don't mind when a guy gets a little choked up, but real men should only... That should only happen when they're, like, standing in front of the press and right. they just got caught cheating on their wife. Or like, you know, your dad just died. There are certain circumstances where you're allowed to be that guy. But my goodness, you got to dial it back, my dude. And that is to bring awareness to this, even though there is awareness already around the Internet, but there's not enough. Uh, I also have evidence, and hopefully when we take a look right now, uh, that these videos are being monetized. So if you remember back in 2017, YouTube... By the way, can I just, can I, can I also critique him again? Sure. You also made a video where you didn't block out the faces of the oh, children. You're right in this video. Right? Do you understand? So you showed. By the way, I'm not going to recommend that we even play this whole video because no, you're right. I, you know, man, I didn't. He plays. I didn't know this was going to. But later on, he plays a clip of a girl. Oh yeah, I'm just I'm just going like opening her legs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. I'm not gonna play. And it's, more of this. she's not naked. Just kid no, 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 but, shorts. But like, this dude is like he's exploiting kids. Let me show you all these videos without the kids' faces blurred out. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Do you understand? But that? <laughs> like the lack of fucking self awareness. So he's exploiting kids for clicks. He's no better than they are. And I honestly, I was gonna warn you. But I I didn't even know he shot he because I, I didn't yeah. get to that part of it like I skipped around I was gonna tell you to avoid the middle yeah. anyway because he shows these yeah. kids but he did it so early I was like God damn it so I had to bring that point up he's showing these kids and that like you know what I mean like you would blur them out uh, this is disgusting so immediately I sent your video to the head of uh, YouTube gaming thank you. Uh, Ways, yeah. Um, and I said, listen, you know, we let's get this taken care of. 
But then I, I saw you go on to say, you know, there's ads attached to this and we need to get in contact with as many news people as possible. We need to take YouTube down and, you know, we need to get in contact with these companies that have their ads next to these videos. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to have, you know, YouTubers that have nothing to do with any of this. Their livelihood is going to be affected by this. Like this could cause another apocalypse and, where, and it will be bad for everybody. And I feel um, you, man. And I literally at the end of my video, I don't know if you watched the video all the way through. I point that out. Like, I don't want this to hurt YouTubers. I want to make it clear that like, I not, I, I don't want this to be bad for, but I know it's going to be bad for YouTubers. And I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about that. I, I feel like it's almost like a necessary evil because I feel like if you're a YouTuber, you know, I, I know it's your full-time income, but I mean, you like as an adult, you do have a capability if you have to, to do, uh, to find other means to, to live. You know, it's not about money, money, money. It's yeah. about something that I absolutely love and care about. And that's yeah. YouTube in general and the community and the friends. Yeah. And these small YouTubers that are making like $3,000 a month. I barely know. Getting by. When I the know. apocalypse hit, they couldn't pay their rent. I literally had to take ads off my videos for I think like three weeks because during the adpocalypse, there wasn't enough ads to go around. So the little guys yeah. weren't able to pay their rent. And yeah. I was trying to get the bigger guys to take their ads off their videos and just upload content with no ads. And, of course, these greedy motherfuckers won it. But, you know, mm -hmm. look, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's more about me and it's more about, you know, the money thing. And it's more about, like, you know, during the adpocalypse, I yeah. guarantee you there was somebody – out there that gave up quit youtube that would have been a massive star today i feel you yeah seen. i you feel know? you and and, and and like i i get it i i i hear where you're coming from for me it, it, it's so hard like how do i get my message across to youtube i i mean i saw so like I, again I, I would just say like watch the last well, this is this is yeah. this is what i'm trying to say okay this please yeah I'm, I'm please yes you, your message has already gotten to youtube okay, okay? cool the video had 30,000 um views mm. and we sent it to youtube youtube already acknowledged to me that they're on it okay they first the first thing youtube did i believe is they ran a scan across all of YouTube with anything that said CP, obviously standing for child porn, right? Okay. And that's why we saw um, some big channels that were had Pokemon. They were Pokemon CP, right. which was Compamp, uh, what is it, Combat Power is what it stands for. They okay. all went down. That's because ridiculous. YouTube just deleted anything with CP. That's and ridiculous, Club, yeah. Club Penguin channels, right? Yeah, because yeah. Club Penguin, and it would be CP for short, they all went down too. Now, YouTube went in and brought those channels back because it was a mistake. Yeah, but right. How many actual child porn videos did they wipe off just in the last 24 hours? I, I would say a lot. I would hope so, man. You know, and, yeah. and I've, I've again, I've been so busy doing this. Um, I haven't been following the whole the whole Pokemon thing. I, I just, you know, I I guess I I want I, I want people to like look at YouTube and go, are you fucking kidding me? Like we we already know that you're screwing over content creators, and yet right. this shit is going on in the background. Um, so I guess I guess the point that you're making. Let me let me try and understand your position. Your position is that basically. Um, I, I, my video has done its job. Like you've heard about it. Oh you yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like, that's what you're saying. Have, like, you, have you went back and looked at some of the videos that you originally looked at and was there a change Did some of the content go down Did some of the comment sections? Get well, we've, disabled? yes, yes. Uh, there, there is still a lot actually, unfortunately on this stream, uh, cause we've been doing it live. Uh, there's still advertising. People have been, my, my, the people that are on my stream have been, uh, uh, have been pointing out that there is still advertising appearing on these videos. So it, it's obvious that YouTube is n now doing something, number one. And it's obvious, and, and one of the things that I'm very excited to point out is that they have the capacity to do something and that they have the authority, I guess, based on their own 
uh, guidelines and, and minimum age requirements, which is all stuff that I point out in my video. Right. Um, so I see that I see that they are doing something. So I'm very excited about that. So I think I, if I understand your your perspective is that my video has done its job, and you're concerned about how this is going to affect uh, YouTubers because there is going to be an ad apocalypse 2.0. Yeah. Yeah, because I see I see people spamming advertisers, right? But yeah, right. You know, I just don't I don't think that's fair, right? Because okay. you know, okay. if YouTube is actively, if we report something to YouTube and they don't fix it, uh, uh, dude, YouTube's YouTube's to blame. But if we report it to YouTube and they are fixing it and they are taking this stuff down, then I, I feel like you know we can't be hating on YouTube that much. I saw a video of your uh, that that you were looking at, right? Yeah. And it was a little girl, and she was in some compromising positions, and the account was like Tommy Man or something. Okay. In that case, that dude's a pedo that owns that account. I okay. mean, we could just look at that. That's not the little girl's account. Yeah. But in yeah. some of these cases, it's the little girl's account, and little girls have to be allowed to be little girls but their comment sections need to be disabled. Mm -hmm. And on those videos, there's, I don't like, why can't there be ads there? Why can't that family or whatever make money? I mean, that's just, to me, it makes sense that they should be able to. You know, uh, that's, I guess, where you and I will have to agree to di disagree. Um, I, I, you know, again, it's just, it's just a difference of opinion. Um,